New developments tonight on the death of Joan Rivers. A just released report cites critical failures at the Upper East Side Clinic where the comedian had a procedure on her throat two months ago. CBS 2's Dick Brennan in our newsroom with more on this report. Dick? Well, Dana, this is the first time we're getting a detailed look at what went on in the clinic back in August when Joan Rivers went into cardiac arrest. And the report documents a series of apparent errors. Joan Rivers' daughter, Melissa, through an attorney, says she's outraged by what went on in the clinic before her mother's death. Rivers was complaining of hoarseness in her voice and was getting a routine procedure done at Yorkville Endoscopy on East 93rd in August, but she went into cardiac arrest and died a week later. Now the report from Health and Human Services says physicians in charge of the care of the patient fail to identify deteriorating vital signs and provide timely intervention during the procedure. The report also says the medical record lacked the patient's body weight and the dose of propofol was inconsistently documented in the medical record. According to a staffer, body weight is very critical for assessing medication before surgery. In addition, the report says it was determined the facility failed to obtain an informed consent for procedure to be performed. And the report also says during one of the procedures, a staffer proceeded to take pictures of the surgeon and the patient with his cell phone. So what happens next? Well, there'll be an unannounced survey of Yorkville. It'll be conducted by HHS, and it must be in substantial compliance by January of 2015. In the newsroom, Dick Brennan, CBS2 News. Thanks.